Okay, Mooner Signal is what we're interested in doing. Perfect Circle... Okay, maybe we'll do that on the way there. And Gravitational SOI... And we have to go in order of the sun. Okay, so Mooner Signal, yeah. But let's get more technologies. We don't really need any of this other stuff. <laughs> we just skip all this and get the good stuff up here. Pre uh, well, we still need this one. Power launchers. Let's get power launchers. Tier 2 is unlocked. Okay, so once we get power launchers, we can do tier 2. And that's the skipper there. Fuel lines. Well, that would be nice. The good probes. Autonomous sampling. Sur that's a sample grabber. Nuclear propulsion is there. Still... Trying to find like basic science... Part. Atmospheric science is here. Atmospheric survey. We get grid fins before we get a whole bunch of other stuff. Anything here we actually need need? RCS maybe. We're docking eventually. I would like the Separatron, so we have to get introductory construction. And yeah, it's probably safer to get that. I mean, this is the gateway. We have to get this one in order to get anything else here. But you can see these are all like 200 to 1,000. And then this bunch is 1,000 to 5,000. And this bunch is 5,000 plus. So we have a lot of science to do. But I think we can do what we need with just what we've got right now there. Um, yeah, let's just launch the same thing that we did, but send it to that one spot on the moon. Their separation was a little bit dodgy, and they were wiggling a lot. So we have to watch out for that. I don't know what was happening there. I didn't think we needed to change anything. We didn't end up needing a ladder, so... Science is very limited. All we've got is a science junior, so... Fine. Go. Okay. So they, it needs to stop blinking when there's zero signs. Ah, uh, no, no, back. Uh, I hate controlling with keyboard. Okay, let's actually throttle down, because I didn't like how I was wiggling all over the place last time. Okay, separation. Alright, much better. Tim C again. I need to stop putting Tim C in the thing. Wow, it's, the pod is actually getting pretty hot. Huh. We're not that low. Is that the battery? Things are getting hot, guys. Think, and it's beeping. It's getting hotter. Guys, it's getting it's getting hotter. Uh oh, it's blinking. Please stop. We're in space, cool off please. Okay, well, it's cooling off for now. Uh, we got zero signs for something, right? Right, yeah. As long as it didn't kill us. <laughs> as long as it didn't kill us, it's okay. Got the signal at the moon. Oh, we could probably... Uh, wait. Uh, it's probably a little bit late. We could have gone earlier. It's just an off-plane transfer. Do I want to do an off-plane transfer? It's using a little bit extra. Whatever, it's fancy. Let's go. I 
don't think we want to crash into it, but uh, let's just go over to the other side, maybe. Okay. That's fine. On we go. Oh, I was supposed to circularize and get into that circular. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, whatever. Secondary mission, anyway. Limsy is a ray bend to the moon. I should have picked a different Kerbal. Is there really. There's not really science, is there? Nope. It's all lies. Well, where is this place? Oh, it's in the dark right now. But it's sort of under our orbit. Uh, periapsis is a little bit low, but... Oh, uh, yeah, there are time restrictions when you're that low. Uh... I want to see more clouds, darn it. It wants me to transmit all with 144 units of power for zero science. I mean, come on, just... No, a completed reports... Move all? No. I don't know how to get rid of them. Filters. I just want to filter out the ones that don't give us science. Let me just wait until that's in daylight. Uh, it's still bound to the time warp of the thing that you were last at. Unless you go to the space center. And then go back to the tracking station. Okay. Okay, well that seems fine to me. Node, node, node. Okay, whoop. Mm, Alright, that seems fine to me. Okay, that looks fine. On we go. At least it seemed like the location is very, very well indicated from this view. So we don't have to go to map view to spot it or anything. On the downside, it doesn't really give it on the nav ball, I don't think. Also, it's a pretty big thing. Now, well, this is a little bit more interesting than last time. Just come straight down for now. Okay, not right on top of it though, it's huge. It's like the St. Louis Arch, but on the moon. It's like a Stargate. <laughs> Seems interesting. Okay. Ah, uh, lean. All right. Um, well, EVA, I guess. I don't know how exactly we're supposed to examine this thing. Oh. 
Do we have to get to the top of it? Okay, yeah, getting to the top of it works. A science reward, but it doesn't tell me how much. Um, let me see. Oh. Research opportunity. Experiment in progress. Oh, this is running something. Landed moon monument. Okay. Must be returned to KSC. There's also data, but no connection, apparently. But that's because we're just a lone Kerbal here. Um, I'm curious what happens if we go away from our Kerbal here and then come back to the Kerbal. So, let's go to mission control like this. So, uh, submit. Continue. Gotcha. Crystal spheres on the arch? Yes. The uh, pattern. They seem like the planets. Yeah. Blue marble. Yeah, well, blue crystal marble thing. Yeah. What's with the cake? And the snacks and such. Okay, yes, snacks. Oh, okay, bad signal. Orbit a probe with a communication antenna above Minvus. What is this wheeling and dealing? Launch a vessel with at least four wheels. Meh, I'm not into wheels. Um, uh, okay, well, we'll track mission. Kerbin's gravitational SOI, satellite, well, yeah, that will automatically do with the next thing, I guess. Okay, so, R&D center. I don't want to use the state Putnik. I want long-range probes, these guys, at least. Or maybe we should just skip them entirely. Will we have enough to get the enhanced electronics? It does. It looks like we need 460. We need this and then that. And then we have enhanced electronics. Okay, research. So I've got those. Fuel lines would be good. But not necessary, necessary. I wanted my ant engine. Ah. It's over here. Um, I think we can do that. And we'll probably need the RCS eventually anyway. Monopropellant drive. Well, saying a lot. Alright, we've got our ant engine too. Plus bonus heat shield. Okay. So now we're down to 112 science. Let's go back to our Kerbal, currently standing on top of the arch on the moon. Very good. Pod hasn't hopped up or anything. I guess this is all done here. We need to bring back the... Oh, can we plant a flag on top of it? Um, well, okay, no, no, that, that's the comment. Okay, moon arch. If this was an actual stargate, it would sure make this game a lot shorter. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Is the jetpack already armed? That's blinking, but it says still says experiment in progress. But oh this still that thing running. I guess that's all done now, right? Okay. Hey, don't knock the- oh no, no, you went too far, you went too far. Don't knock the lander over though, that's important. Ooh. They don't fall flat on their face like they used to? That wouldn't- that would be sad. Okay, 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 okay. Nah, you went too far. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it did something there. Okay, well, Tim C's got valuable research. So we should bring Tim C back. We can transmit some of it, not all of it. 
surface samples we can't transmit. Uh, that one we can transmit. 120 units there. Oh, this one's zero. 35, uh, 36 units of power here. Let's just do that first. Okay, let's bring the rest of it back. So, well, we just go up and go into normal orbit. This way. Go through the arch. Uh, somebody's got to, uh, on launch, go right through that arch, right? Roughly speaking, we could probably just go ahead. Uh, it's not great though. But we've got extra. So... Yeah, yeah. We can do that. Oh, change of camera. A little bit low. Oh well, 26-ish. Alright, departing the moon. With science. Again. <laughs> with Tim C again. We've got to stop doing this with Tim. Okay. On we go. We're going to Minmus next, but they want us to do it with a probe, which is sad. Okay. Oh, we're getting heat early. We had heat on the way up. Maybe we'll get extra heat on the way down and it'll totally surprise me. It seems earlier than I was expecting. I mean, it's a way of doing it, but I feel like some more work could be done here. I like the sound. They've done really well with the sound. Although, I feel like re-entry should have its own music. They've got a lot of cued music for different situations, but apparently not re-entry. Maybe it's too common re-entry to even bother changing music for. Too simple a re-entry. Oh, are we going to get to see the new buoyancy here? I don't know how this this texture that seems to be waves is moving, but this, these little white frothy things don't seem to go along with it. Maybe those are, like, below the surface? I don't know. Okay. See now, I don't know about the buoyancy thing. It's just sort of does a little springy thing and then it just stays here. Now we ready to splash in the water too. Okay. Recover vessel. Fuel lines would be nice. I feel on principle I should get struts. Maybe. But, uh, okay. We get it. Uh, let's revert. Why would I? How would I revert right now? I don't know. Okay. Well, probe. We've got an Octo 2. The world's bestest probe. We've got 0.1 kilonewton. Actually, this has 2 kilonewton. How much does this pod have? 5. Hmm. I think a reaction wheel plus that would be good. Do we have a... we have the... this is a huge reaction wheel. Um, what kind of comms do we need with these things? Do we? I mean, I guess we need to be able to communicate with it. They've given us antenna iron stuff. Do I need one? That's a pretty high thrust weight ratio if it's right. Let's actually check this one though. This little one seems more accurate. It's saying 3.41. I can't do science or do we have to like bring a science junior that science junior is a ton that's what got me off I, I had put a science junior at the bottom of the capsule I didn't notice it was a ton I thought it was still the 0.2 ton 
Sass Jr. from the good old days. But no, it's a one-ton thing. Watch out. Um, I actually want one of these in the center, just so that we can mount stuff. It's a lot of thrust weight ratio, though. But, sort of, okay. But we're going to Minmus. <laughs> and now we've got those, so it can land on those instead of the ant engines. Okay, but we don't have fairings. Uh, let's just call this Minmus Probe. First named thing in this series. Minmus Probe. Little Neck. Alright, well, 35. Yeah, fine. I don't have the mini decoupler, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but... Can it wrap around that? No. Okay, 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 okay. All right. We've got it encapsulated. It's got apparently 4876 meters per second. This seems like a lot. But can it actually do science? I don't know. But it's not the the mission isn't requiring any science. We also should send it out into Kerbal Orbit, see what the antenna range is, and fulfill that mission as well. 10,000 meters per second, folks. Atmosphere, 1.17. I guess that's okay. Now, our probe core up there doesn't have, you know, a reaction wheel, so let's put a stabilizer here. One point one five. Hmm, we don't need that much delta V. We'll see. Mimus probe. All right, on to Mimus. <laughs>